Yeah, but uh, obviously I'm frustrated because I'm frustrated because I think what I was saying uh, just before the game, we fall into that uh, trap again and we don't realize. First five minutes, I promised myself to be very calm today, whatever happened. The first five minutes, I got really nervous because I could see that despite what we said, we were prepared to play and to keep playing. We start to go into this uh, play long balls when we have no need to stay on the same side when we can switch it. And I didn't like that at all. And that what happens inevitably, uh, make a mistake, a silly mistake, and then it can happen. And uh, we need to overcome that because there is probably the the fear of losing what we have. And this is something that I personally don't like. I told them I take the responsibility. You go out and play, and then if anything happens, I'll take the, the blame and responsibility. No problem. I want us to play. And it's frustrating, but at the same time, put things into context. And I know we were tunnel up. But we get frustrated because we drew against the team that is top of the MLS at the moment. So, you know, this also has to be considered. But what the boys show that when we play, we can play face to face, toe to toe against everybody in the league. Okay, they miss some plays, but we also miss some players. And, and uh, I think that we can compete with everybody, but we need to overcome that and to be maybe more clinical, of course, when we create chances, we created a few to close the game down. Unfortunately, we didn't. But for me, the important thing, we keep playing. We keep playing when we have the possibility. And I thought we had the possibility and we decided, or decided unconsciously, we kept, we started to go in this game long. And then after, we felt, in my opinion, I felt that the boys, because the boys want to please the, the crowd, you know? They want to please the crowd, they want to get a win, and then they are extra anxious about that, in my opinion, and we need to to control better those moments. But anyway. It, it seemed like when you guys went 2-0 up, it's still in the first half, it just, the, the goals fed themselves and the energy was building, and then halftime just kind of brought it all down, and there was a nervous energy after halftime. How do you move forward and, and get through halftime without losing all the momentum? Listen, if you were half-time, maybe next time I said, guys, go out, be nervous, and, uh, you know, because half-time, that one was good. I said, we need to keep going and playing, keep playing, because by playing, we, we are in this situation of tunnel up. We, are, we know that they are going to be dangerous in certain situations that we studied. But we control that sometimes. You know, Acosta might find the pass, Kubo can find the run, and Sergio Santos can find the run, Barreal, Arias. But more or less, I thought that we were not in such a great danger. So I said, as long as we control those situations that we studied, and we keep playing, we keep playing. Because some of the chances that they had were from us making some mistakes. But I can live with that. Because if we were in the position to be tunnel up, it's because we are playing. So I don't want to play long balls when and uh, you know to weigh the ball coming back and because this is not our identity. So our challenge is to play for as long as possible the game that we want to play. But there are also many positive. I think it was a good debut from Scott. I thought that uh, few players had a good game and collectively I thought that we. Uh, Tactically, we were not bothered. We were bothered more by individual playing against, uh, and in which they were really good, and uh, they found uh, a penalty, and uh, where well, we should have defended. Bet we should have defended a lot better both goals. The status on Jones I don't know. I felt uh, that the the leg was getting tight, so I think he was pretty smart in coming out without making the injury worst. Uh, I hope that's the case, but uh, I don't have any 
any update uh, as sure because uh, we need to do some exams rather than you know but uh, hopefully hopefully it's going to be hopefully not bad Listen, I only worry about the work that I do with the boys on a daily basis. I really don't follow the social that much, if at all. Uh, it's important what the club believes until they think that I am doing a job that is bringing the club forward. And then the day that they will not uh, want that anymore, they will let me know cannot be too much worried about anything else. I need to see. I think that um, the frustration uh, is that this is the second year that we are in the league. We had, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, diff difficult moments in this club. And uh, uh, I think that we are heading in the right direction in the sense that we play toe to toe against everybody. I'm the first one to be frustrated when I'm in front I want to win. But at the same time, we don't get embarrassed on a weekly basis. We play against the team that is top of the MLS. We are tunnel up. We are all disappointed here, like if we lost 5 0 at home. And we drew. So, again, uh, I don't really concern myself about that. If they want, until the people think that I'm doing a job to bring the, the club forward, I will be here and then there will be a time they will tell me to stop and I'm very serene in that sense. I feel frustrated, not about that, I feel frustrated because I want to give uh, the, the funds, the, the points, whenever possible, the wins, and I want our players to to win games because they put a lot of effort into that. But evidently, we need to improve certain things, and we will keep working on that. That's my focus is on that. Uh, Logan. Uh, so, coach, today Guzman Crujo does play 90. Mm -hmm. How much of that was planned beforehand? Is he, you know, starting to look like he could be ready for 90s in the future, or is that a product of, of what happened? No, no, the product, uh, no. It's when you have a central defender, when you have any player on the pitch, you want them to, you assume that they can play 90 minutes, otherwise they wouldn't be in or they would start from the bench. So whoever starts is because you know that he can go 90 minutes. So that was our goal since he came back. He felt a few times tighten up his uh, calf. And so that was the, the reason for which we wanted to bring him, uh, give him uh, the possibility to rest and not to potentially have a muscle injury. But I think it's normal that he should be playing 90 minutes. So from now on, like everybody start the game, we assume that he is ready to play 90 minutes. And can you tell me your thoughts on Herman Vargas's performance tonight? Kerwin, I thought he did well. Um, he made a good assist. And he was working hard. Uh, I just wanted to change the wingers because I know that they were doing a lot of work defensively and we were going a little bit deeper. And I wanted to play more. So to have maybe Justin is a guy that has got different characteristics from Kerwin. And also Mackenzie, I thought that with them we were going a little bit more vertical. I wanted to control the game a little bit more. And uh, obviously, like always happens, you know, you do the subs and uh, if we score the two goals with Carol, uh, you know, everything is great. I thought that we played after until um, 
Until the end, we made uh, the red card was caused by us playing. You know, it wasn't something that the referee gave you for free. So I thought that we started to play, creating more chances. Unfortunately, we didn't talk, we didn't take those, and uh, so everything looks uh, doom and gloom. But it's not. In my opinion, there are many positive things, and uh, we have very good wingers. I had to, I kept uh, Brandon Cambridge out from the squad, but he's another guy that works well. Just because I think that we needed a little bit more experience, but I think Kerwin's performance was. I'm happy with Kerwin. Okay. So, coach, uh, what can you say to us about? Carol's performance, from my point of view, you know, on another night he could have had a hat trick or a haul. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think he's one of those games where he could have scored four goals. Uh, it's a shame uh, he didn't put the third one because at that moment I think the game would be over. If he finished that one, we go 3 1 just after they scored. Unfortunately, it happened to us on a number of occasions. We create chances and then we. We didn't take that one, but uh, you know he played well. He scored in the first half. He scored two very good goals. He was dangerous, and he also created the other one to to score again when he hit the post. Um, he looked to me maybe he could have. I don't know if he could arrive on the cross of Camille. I, I mean, a perspective. I can't really see that. He said to me it was difficult. Listen, from a number nine, that's what you want. You want a guy that works hard, he scored two. Yes, he could score another one, and then because he's good enough to do that in those situations. But uh, everybody, listen, you win together, you lose together, or you draw together. So I think Carol is, uh, he had a good game. I wish he found the, the hat trick because I think he deserved to score another one. Fans aside, social media aside, all, all that aside, focusing on what you're doing with the boys, what are you doing with them uh, to move forward from uh, these doldrums, these five draws in a row? Um, to, to Can you imagine if we lost five in a row? Yeah. But, but also, I have to say this. You are, I mean, the way you are talking, I don't know, because I don't really follow the social looks like the, all the fan base, but I also see a lot of people that they seem to be behind the team. I mean, they don't have to be behind me. I understand that it works like that in football, but uh, it looks like that there's a front united that they, might, it might be, I don't know, maybe on the, maybe, no, but it's important. The fans are important. It's an important part of the club, you know. Uh, but uh, I am concerned. I want to make the fans happy by creating a team that play football, and that uh, can uh, have good performances against everybody. So now we had uh, five draws away from home in not easy place to go, and it looks like uh, I mean we it looks like it's doom and gloom. But I think uh, I disagree with that. I, I wanted a little bit more in terms of performance to. Um, but uh, the results uh, are, uh, you know, are not as bad as a uh, few of you seems to make it look like, or some people. All right, last one today. Um, can you talk a little bit about Scott Arfield playing his play today? And just Good debut. You can see Scott is uh, the way he plays with the ball and without the ball. He's very experienced. I think people around him appreciate it. He's, he's calm, he's composed. Uh, he's a very good addition to our squad. And uh, I think uh, it will be important also in terms of creation, of uh, helping us to play with more calmness. Um, He's uh, obviously he needs to find uh, the rhythm for the 90 minutes. But as you could see, I thought he, he was uh, he, he's an important player for us. Also in those diff in the transition moments and in the moments where the game could have gone the other way because now the momentum shifted. And I thought it was important with his experience, his talking to to get us through the game. And Bob, uh, what, what changes 
changes did you make after they came out in those first five minutes? We know you made some subs as far as tactically. What did you do? It wasn't, it wasn't, it's not that you have to change tactically. I don't think that the problem was tactically. The tactically is that we didn't play. Is for the first six, seven, eight minutes we started to go long and vertical when we they kind of gave us the possibility to do what we did in the first half to move the ball side to side, and for some reason we didn't control. And these these moments are key. So. It's not that you have to change tactical. I try to make tactical change at the end when they go 10 men to push Patrick and Carol to press them really high so that they have to kick long. And we had the ball a lot, but unfortunately, the last pass or the last cross was not, uh, was not precise enough. But uh, I think we created chances when they were um, with 10 men and uh, that was the tactical change. I want them to kick the ball long so that we can win, get it back and go at them. That was the, that was the idea. But I didn't think the tactical together was a problem. They got uh, this transition moment that in which we didn't control the game good enough as we, we could have done and we should have done.